Let's go over how to use a webhook trigger. So you create a node called the webhook trigger. Here, the webhook gives us a test and production URL. We're just gonna use the test URL for right now because that is what we can use while testing. Production will be used whenever you whenever you set this to active. So this URL, when somebody creates a post request to this URL, I'm going to receive it. And this is the path they need, and I want to respond with a specific webhook node. I'm also gonna test that the push request that we're being sent has this token. If it does, then we can proceed. We're gonna insert a row into the database table and then respond to that webhook. Okay, now my workflow is waiting. I'm going to send this test URL in my terminal. So this is the URL for my webhook with the path lead slash new. And here is the data, including the token to make sure that we are the ones passing this in. You can see the workflow completed and we got back that it was okay and that the new ID for the insert inserted row is 38. Now, if I pass in an incorrect token, like say somebody else got my URL and they try to pass this in, nothing happens because you can see here the if statement return false because that token didn't match with what I have locally.